Hi, I'm Ryan Fisher. I'm a partner here at the firm. We get a lot of calls from folks who have been involved in a car accident and they think they're in trouble. They think that there's no remedy for them. Uh, they tell us, I got into a car accident. It wasn't my fault, but the other driver didn't have insurance. Is there anything that I can do? And the answer nine out of 10 times is yes, there absolutely is. So when we're analyzing a case, uh, one of the first things we look at, obviously, is whose fault the accident is. So once we get past that, and the if the fault rests on another driver, uh, we want to make sure that that other driver has the ability to compensate our client for the injuries that he or she has sustained. So almost all the time, we're looking for automobile insurance. The state of Ohio, just like all the other states in the country, require uh, licensed drivers to carry financial liability insurance. Ohio requires folks to carry a minimum of $25,000 in insurance, which isn't that much, but certainly it's better than nothing. Um, statistically, I've seen uh, that, I've read that 12% of motorists in Ohio are un uninsured. And from my experience, I, I actually think that number is higher than that. Um, it's not unusual for us to get calls just like I described to you. So first off, we want to make sure that that person doesn't have insurance. Sometimes they even have insurance and they don't know about it. Uh, and that can happen in a situation where <clears throat> maybe they're driving somebody else's car and they personally don't have insurance, but the owner of that car uh, has insurance. So once we confirm that the actual wrongdoer does not have any insurance, where else can we look? So the first place we look is uh, the vehicle that our client was in, which usually is their own vehicle. But for instance, you may be a passenger in somebody else's car who gets involved in an accident. So we look at that vehicle. Did the owner of that vehicle that our client was riding in have insurance? If that car was insured, then the folks sitting in the car uh, would be covered under that policy. Um, if that doesn't work, the next step is, uh, does our client have their own insurance policy? Uh, sometimes I get a client that says, why would you want to know about my insurance? <clears throat> I wasn't driving. It wasn't my car. And I get all that, and that's all true. But uh, if you have full coverage in Ohio, that coverage includes something called uninsured or underinsured motorist coverage. And what that means is it means that the owner of the policy or anyone covered under that policy has coverage if they're injured as the result of somebody who doesn't have coverage. So you may be sitting in your friend's car and that friend gets hit by the drunk driver. The drunk driver doesn't have insurance. Your friend doesn't have insurance. You can turn to your own company and say, hey, I was involved in an accident. It wasn't my fault. And you can make a claim under your own policy, even if you weren't driving, even if you weren't in your own car. The question that clients always have after that is, what's it going to do to my insurance rates? I don't want to make a claim under my policy. I didn't do anything wrong. Uh, and the answer is, it will do nothing to your insurance rates. It is against the law in the state of Ohio for an insurance company to cancel you or raise your premiums for filing an uninsured motorist claim. The reason being, you didn't do anything wrong. You weren't at fault. You were just basically in the wrong place at the wrong time. So there's actually a statute in Ohio that prohibits that. So it won't do anything to your automobile insurance coverage. Uh, as far as what policy might cover you when you're sitting in your car, of course, your own policy will. But if you're living with any relatives, maybe you're living with your parents, maybe you're living with your children, maybe you're living with your aunt or your uncle. If you're living with a relative, you're going to be covered more likely than not by that relative's insurance if you don't have your own insurance. The rationale being uh, a 17-year-old kid or even a 15-year-old kid shouldn't have to buy his own insurance uh, they, when they don't even drive or they may not own a car. So children's are, children are always covered under their parents' policies. And the way the policies are written in Ohio, they ensure what are called resident relatives. So children, aunts, uncles, grandparents, if they're living in the same household, more likely than not, they're going to be covered by a resident relative's insurance policy, provided it has uninsured motorist coverage. One other point, when you're buying a policy, even if you're trying to save some money and you think you could shave off a little bit 
on your premium by not buying uninsured motorist coverage, I can't stress strongly enough, buy the uninsured motorist coverage. <clears throat> you will regret it if you don't have it and you need it. And you might be surprised that uninsured motorist coverage usually isn't that expensive. So uh, we're insurance experts here at the firm. Uh, insurance plays a big role in all of these automobile cases. So if you think you have a case or you have questions about insurance, please give, give us a call. We'll be happy to help you.